Hey guys and welcome to All The Secrets. In this channel you will find oh, inspiration in growing your YouTube channel. I am going to prove how to grow a YouTube channel. So I'm a very small YouTuber, I'm just starting out. And I wanna show you the tips and tricks so that you can also grow your YouTube channel. So if that's something you're interested in, then subscribe for more of my videos. I have a few videos uploaded as well. You could go back to them and yeah let's go our youtube channel together in this video i don't want it to come off negative at all so i want to talk about some of the things that i think you need to know before you actually start your youtube channel for me i have a second youtube channel and that has been going for nearly seven years at this point and I only have 6,000 subscribers and for me personally that is not what I expected. When you start a YouTube channel you think that this growth is just going to happen and it's just going to blow up and things are just going to happen and you're going to be successful because sometimes you look at other people and be like well why do they have the subscribers and I don't and I think it can be very disheartening and very demotivating when that happens because you think why isn't my channel getting the attention that they do and like I said I've been doing this for six years and to only have 6,000 is amazing I'm so grateful for that don't get me wrong but I'm not gonna lie I would have loved more I was expecting more I put so much hard work into it and I was expecting more from that and it's really hard to sort of realize that all of that hard work doesn't necessarily mean that you will have all the numbers that other youtubers do and i think it's important that you also have to remember that you can't come into youtube for the money you can't come into youtube for the subscribers the views anything like that because it just it doesn't work like that so i've also recently discovered as well that my CPM is really low and I should be getting a lot more for my videos than what maybe somebody else does and I didn't know that. I thought that if somebody makes this many views that's how much money they get but somebody getting the same amount of views could be getting like hundreds times more money than me and that is also like demotivating and it hurts a little bit and like I say you have to be in this for the right reasons because to do something for six years consistently for no money technically only in the past year have I actually started to make some money on on YouTube you have to really want to do it for the right reasons and also I think sometimes when people watch your videos they can tell if it's just you're just getting a video out it's just rushed it's done just done for the views and you know nine times out of ten when you do stuff like that you don't actually get the outcome that you want and you look back on that video and you don't really appreciate it the way that you should when starting a youtube channel you just think to yourself like how hard can it be having a youtube channel i mean all you have to do is upload a video to youtube and go from there but there's so much more than just uploading a video. You have to be on top of the trends. You have to be researching all the time. You have to be checking your analytics. You have to make sure that it's constantly improving, that you're up to date. You have to be filming the videos, which sometimes don't go to plan. Sometimes you can film the videos three times and it still doesn't go right. Then the editing, you could edit the video and realize, you know what, I don't like it. It's not as simple as creating a video and, edit, and editing and uploading. There, there is a lot more mental process with that and it's very hard to watch yourself on camera night like all the time and you pick every single little thing about you out and then you have the comments as well sometimes somebody can say something about you and it could really hurt your feelings and you have to really think that are you mentally capable of taking criticism because some some people just aren't some people take things to heart a little bit and am i like that i i think i've been used to i've done things in the past that have given me hate criticism and i think i've got a little bit of a tough skin with that and i'm okay with that and i know some people if i was to sort of give them advice they don't really take it well and they can go a bit negative with that and I think you have to remember that people do give advice on YouTube sometimes and not in a very nice way I don't know why but sometimes that just happens on YouTube and you need to think about your mental state before 
numbers, money, success, all of that because your mental state is so much more important than what all of that is. Sometimes as well, something that you don't realise, you think of a channel idea, okay, you've got a couple of video ideas and stuff like that and then you sort of get in the floor and then you end up with some something that you'll hear YouTubers call creativity burnout and that is a real thing sometimes you have to push yourself especially as a new youtuber sometimes you have to push yourself so much that you are consistent on youtube you're getting the stuff out and if you are running late on something you have to get that done whether you like it or not because youtube loves cons consistency and in order to be successful on youtube you do need to be consistent you need to be uploading regular videos and you need to be making that a priority. And for most people, that is while working a job, I would have thought, or going to school, something like that. And you have to try and fit YouTube in that. And it, like I say, it's not just creating a video and uploading it. It's it's hard to sort of motivate yourself to be self-employed. Does that make sense? Like nobody's telling you you've got to do it. That's something you've got to decide to do and you've got to stick to, and you've got to make sure that you are gonna to stick to your plan, stick to your schedule and get things done. And then you also upload your first video, you think, oh my God, I'm gonna get so many views, so many subscribers, and you maybe get 10 views and two of them are yours or something like that. It's a bit of a shock to the system when you first see it. You, you, you do psych yourself up a little bit and be like, oh my God, this is so amazing and I'm going to get so many views and then it uploads and it just it just doesn't. And I think you have to realise that it is a slow process and that's okay. If you really look back at most YouTubers, I mean, I guess most of them would have deleted the old videos by now, but if you do look back at them, and guarantee that they didn't just become successful and guarantee they were uploading videos for years before they actually had success on youtube and if it wasn't on youtube it was probably on a different social platform so definitely take that into consideration and don't be hard on yourself if it isn't going how you planned and it is taking a little bit longer than what you thought that's okay and it's just the way that it is you've just got to keep pushing and one day youtube will notice it and they will push your video out you just have to have faith and you just have to have trust in the process and just know that yes it's been months yes it's been years but are you doing something that you truly love? Is it something that you're enjoying doing? Because if that is a yes, then definitely keep going. But I think if you are forcing it too much, maybe you have to rethink about what it is you're doing, why it is you're doing it, and if it's something you want to go ahead with. Because like I say, your mental state is so much more valuable than YouTube, you know? So I hope this video wasn't too negative and it wasn't how I don't want it to sort of come across but I just want people to be aware that I mean I uploaded my videos a few it, um the end of March and as of right now I only have 12 subscribers and I wish it was grown a little bit bigger but you know what it's just the way it is and I have faith and trust in the fact that I know that I can do this and not even if I can't do this I'm enjoying doing this, you know. It's really fun to sort of take it behind the scene and grow on a YouTube channel and sharing all the things that I'm learning from other people and putting it into practice. And if that's something that you're so enjoying, then that makes my day. It really does. It doesn't matter whether I have 10 subscribers or a thousand subscribers. I'm enjoying doing it and I'm going to keep doing it. So I hope this video helped and give you comfort in knowing that. You will get there if you really want to and if you don't then as long as you enjoy it does it really matter let's leave this video here leave me some comments if and we can have a little bit of a chat in the comments about this video i would really really enjoy that if you have anything you want me to create a video on in the future then let me know but as of right now i will love you and leave you and i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>